Hi everyone. Right, just thought I'd um, show you this uh, while I was doing it. Um, make a few points on uh, um, circuit design and component selection. Okay, as you can see on the screen at the moment, um, I've got a piece of software called Multisim. It's by National Instruments. It's a very expensive piece of software. Um, and it's unlikely that anyone else will be using it. Uh, this software allows you to design circuits and simulate what they do. Um, it will handle everything from uh, basic components such as transistors, resistors, diodes, capacitors, etc. etc. all the way up to uh, microprocessors and PICs. Uh, and yes, it will simulate a microprocessor or a PIC complete with software as well. Um, so you can actually do PIC programming in here um, along with a full map of hardware and it will actually um, simulate what's going on with the PIC and of course what the hardware states are. Um, so it's quite literally um, a very complicated piece of software. Also with the multi-sim package comes utility board which allows you to take a circuit that you've designed and print out the templates for turning it into a printed circuit board. Um, and yes that includes multi-layer circuit boards as well. So um, very complicated, very expensive piece of software but darn well good. On screen at the moment is my Bedini uh, circuit as it stands at the moment. You can see Q1 and Q2 which has my Darlington array on um, as per one of my videos uh, with regards to the beneficial Bedini upgrade for the Darlington pair. And that's pretty much as it is at the moment. Um, I've been playing around with trying to recover the two back EMF outputs here and here and sending them back to the source. Um, but at the moment, the only way that I can think of doing it is um, with an electromechanicals type switch, um, which of course creates other problems. But anyway, that's that one. The circuit that I'm working on at the moment is a voltage pump and uh, what this is designed to do is all your generator coils or should I say all my generator coils um, go through a voltage doubling rectifier onto um, basically a generator bus then that all gets stored into a capacitor bank now <coughs> excuse me that will be at a an unusable voltage. Right. Um, I mean the best coil that I've been able to do will output at 5 volts um, but the Bedini takes 12. So we need to pump that up, pump that 5 volts coming from the generators up to 12 volts ready for feeding back into the main cap bank. So how do we do it? Uh, well there's multiple techniques. The voltage doubling rectifier um, you can actually get voltage tripling rectifiers, voltage quadrupling rectifiers, which is all well and good. The only problem is that when you start to, when you take a low voltage that comes from the coil and then you start running it through multiple diodes, you can lose a hell of a lot of power that way. Um, now, the voltage doubling rectifier is far more efficient than a bridge rectifier um, but once you go to voltage tripling uh, you then end up being about the same efficiency than when you go to voltage quadrupling you, you then lose each stage that you add on you you end up losing some of the power from the generator which is not what we want um, I mean the biggest problem that you've got is even though you're generating a low voltage say off the top of me I'd say 6 volts right, you'll be getting out
out of that, say, what, 50 milliamps that's usable. Um, this is best case scenario, by the way. Um, so, of course, when you pump that up to 12, you're not going to get 50 milliamps. You're going to get just short of 25. When you double the voltage, you half the current. Right? Everyone whinges about it, but stop whinging about it because there's nothing to whinge about. It's there. You've got no choice. The power output from a coil in watts is regardless of voltage. Right? So, say you've got a 1 watt generator coil. If you have that at 1 volt, then it's 1 amp. But if you pick that up to 10 volts, you then get 100 milliamps or 0.1 of an amp. So it sort of swings, if you like. Um, if you increase one side of the swing, the other side drops down. So that's kind of end of story. Stop whinging about it. Just get on with it, to be honest. So my approach is to pump up the voltage using a multi stage voltage doubler. So, how does this work? Everyone will notice here, I'll zoom in for you, that is a triple five timer. Not nope, too far. Okay, simple timing. Runs off the 12 volts coming from uh, my cap bank, which at the moment I've just drawn in as a 12 volt battery for ease of use. Uh, well, ease of testing I should say. Okay, out of that comes a approximately 50% duty cycle um, um, pulses. Um, I'm not sure what uh, frequency this is actually set at at the moment, uh, but either way I'll be changing it. Uh, via resistor goes into a pair of um, NPN and PMP transistors. What this does, this capacitor here Right. First of all, it connects it across the negative and the positive. Right. So it charges it with some of the power coming from the generator coils. And then on the 180 degrees later, on the, um, um, the pulse, right, it flips it around and puts the negative of the capacitor on the positive of the um, generator coil. Thus doubling the voltage, ignoring the uh, inefficiencies. Right? And that then flows through a diode into another capacitor. Right? Now obviously you're going to lose some here because you've got diodes. Now that brings me on to uh, component selection. Right? I'm using, well I've ordered SR304s. Right? I've ordered 25 of them. Simple reason being that it was cheaper to order 25. So, uh, but they have a voltage loss of 0.55 volts. A standard diode has a voltage loss of 1.2 volts. Right? Same with the bridge rectifier. Times four. Correct. A bridge rectifier ends up losing 2.4 volts per um, peak. Don't forget the AC sine wave that comes out of a um, coil. Right, you're losing 2.4 volts per peak. So you get the plus peak and the minus peak. You're getting 2.4 volts chopped off it, basically. So, by selecting components, um, you can actually significantly enhance the efficiency of the circuit that you're using. Right, now, obviously, on mine that I'm running, I've got three stages drawn here. Right, um, I'm going to be using four at least. Now, this circuit is, uh, I've spent about an hour on it, uh, just plopping it in. Um, I've done a quick sim here, uh, in which you can see, so I'll stop moving around, in which you can see the basic voltages. Now, there's a problem with stage three, which I'm going to sort out in a moment. Um, so anyway, the 10 minutes are already up. Um, any questions, give me a shout. I think I'll post another video at some point. Cheers.